But good morning, guys. It's probably around, I don't know, I'd say 6.30 and uh, had a great night in the woods. Um, just got up because I could uh, hear the ice cracking on the river. Big loud bangs. Anyway, it was a cozy sleep last night in the, the Tayton minus 18 Celsius sleeping bag. Uh, I had to completely put my entire body within the sleeping bag because um, it is, it's chilly out. It's minus eight out uh, this morning. And uh, yeah, it was very cozy. If anything, I feel just a little bit damp because you know, you're breathing inside the uh, enclosed sleeping bag. I've got a little bit of frost <laughs> on my hat. Um, pretty quiet overnight. The only thing that was uh, going on throughout the night was the coyotes. They were really loud. Um, many times during the night, they were up barking and yipping and yelping and sort of all around me, kind of uh, just uh, well, probably on the shoreline in the back bush over here as well. Um, so they were doing the rounds last night. So between that and the ice banging, <laughs> that's the only thing that was sort of, uh, would sort of jar me awake at night. Um, I was fine without the fire. The sleeping bag was excellent. Very comfortable, cozy. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good sleeping bag. If it was below minus 10, I'd probably you know, have a fire nearby and stuff like that. Um, but the bag, the bag does the job. So it's really nice. Um, but if you are a taller person, you probably want to get the, uh, the larger size. I was, I had the regular size and that was all right. And I could actually sort of tuck myself in, but for taller people, I probably would get the large size. All right, so I'm just gonna get ready and uh, get some breakfast going. So one thing I do at the cabin uh, every time we're here is I've got these uh, planners and I write uh, sort of a journal of uh, you know what we've seen. And if I've moved the trail cameras and stuff like that, I'll write that down too, because you don't want to lose them. You either put them in your GPS or you write down where you put them, because it's pretty quickly uh, where you can forget. So it's really interesting, you know, watching trends and things like that. I've been doing this ever since uh, we got the property and we're building the cabin. So it's interesting to see the cabin grow. And you can see trends too when you see certain kinds of wildlife, things like that, and measuring snow depths and, and just watching the trends over time. So if you have a cabin that you go to uh, or a place you visit frequently, I highly recommend uh, writing a journal about what you see. Very fascinating to see how things change over time. Well, this morning I'm going to continue my work in here. It's just so full of stuff and, uh, you know, towards the end of the season you start shoving things in here and really got to kind of organize it. Got a little bit more space to work here now that I moved out the uh, uh, the box there. So I'm just going to try to organize a little bit more of our stuff. Well, here's my handiwork so far. So lots more space to move around. It's all tidied up. Oh, that's awesome. I just got to put the uh, wheelbarrow back in here, but that shouldn't take up too much space. So now this actually makes us a functional working space if you're working on a project yeah. here in the winter. So as always, you always accrue a lot more stuff and wouldn't it be nice to make this shed actually bigger? Um, but for now, we'll leave it as is and just kind of uh, organize it a little bit better. You can see over here, I've got all my snowmobile stuff. Another one of these little filter assemblies kind of in here, just in case. It's always good to have a backup part. And uh, I forgot I got this in the mail, um, a new tachometer for my snowmobile. I thought mine uh, didn't work very well the last time I was out here, um, but I bought this new one really inexpensively, it came from China. But you can actually take the battery out of the back and uh, put a new one in it, unlike the one that I have right now. Somewhere in there also I have uh, some new piston rings that I uh, was going to install last summer in the snowmobile but never got around to it. So hopefully this year I'll get my myself in gear and uh, pop those in there. So I took the sled back now on uh, one of my uh, more uh, remote trails. Well not really remote but um, trails that I just don't use that often. I'm a little bit more distant than the cabin. But it looks like a bunch of trees have fallen down this winter. So uh, we're chopping some some fallen logs. Um, the snowmobile is not going to get as far as, an, as I want in this area, but that's okay. We've got the snowshoes to kind of snowshoe the rest of the way uh, to have an enjoyable snowshoe adventure. It's like a gate. <laughs> I'll just leave this here. Oh. That'll do. Just a beautiful walk across the bay. I don't know how much longer we're going to have the ice, but I'll take it while I have it.
It's like a noodle. Oh! <laughs> Watch out. It's shedding. Yeah. Ooh. That's okay. Yeah, dangers of chopping down a tree. Okay. I'm thinking about it. Getting there. It's almost too wobbly. There it goes. There, oh. oh. Whoa, smack. Yeah. Oh. You did it. Woohoo. Yeah. Learning to you. <laughs> <laughs> Another snowshoe casualty. <laughs> Care of the uh, wild yam. <laughs> That's fun. Learn how to use like the axe there. A dense. And we got some firewood. Well, today the sledding is lots of fun. Uh, there's a hard crust on the snow, so this puppy goes really well up and down hills today. Super fun. Uh, loving doing the jumps and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. I can see how addicting this could be, especially if you did like some kind of snowmobile motocross thing or something like that. I'd totally train up for that. I think it'd be lots of fun. Huge adrenaline rush, although major potential to injure oneself. So, gotta be really careful. <laughs> A gorgeous day out, not a cloud in the sky. Um, gonna be a high of plus one today. Um, I'm actually pretty hot, just wearing my uh, my down coat here. Um, but uh, it's an awesome day out, time to have lots of fun. It's family day here in Ontario. I don't know if you're in Canada and your province celebrates that, but it means we've got the day off of work to have lots of fun with family. So I'm just here now um, feeding the birds a little bit uh, before we have lunch. So that's my setup there with the hammock. So now I'm going to take it down. Like I said, I like that kind of setup because it's so quick and uh, actually quite comfortable. I'm really surprised as to how much I'm enjoying the hammock camping. I really like hand taming these guys. It's really neat having a little bird in your hand. Nut hatches as well. They are uh, quite uh, easy to hand tame as well. So chickadees, nut hatches I find are good. Also whiskey jacks uh, can be hand tamed as well. It's funny, in the summertime, the birds actually recognize me. When I walk through the woods, they kind of circle around thinking I'm going to have some goodies for them. Well, that was really quick. That didn't take me very long at all definitely under 10 minutes according to the timer there on the camera so that's awesome well thanks guys for joining me on the adventures this weekend we had lots of fun couldn't ask for a better weekend nice and sunny and uh, cool at night but warming up during the day spring is on the way I can definitely feel it in the air um, so that's really exciting have a great week guys as always take care